as a bidding war erupts between two firms for Australian Energy Junior Ore, a new third bidder could send the price above half a billion dollars. Can Cut for Print December has seen a frenzy of activity for ore, as it became the takeover target for China Energy Reserves and Chemical Group, SIPG, and Minerals Resources, which are looking to gain access to Australia's domestic gas supply markets through acquisition of ore's way to see a gas project. SIPG has made two successive bids, with its current, all-cash proposal standing at a revised 73 cent a share, or $463 million, after it withdrew its initial offer of 71 cent a share. Mineral Resources has made a $484 million, all-script offer for the gas company valuing it at 80 cent a share. And Cut Regal Funds Management, an ore shareholder, believes another bid is on the horizon. There is potential for another bidder to enter the fray, Regal Funds Management Portfolio Manager Julian Barbacher said. Elisto Capital, ORE's largest shareholder, was unavailable for comment. A source close to ORE also said a third bidder could be on the horizon. We think there's a couple of parties looking at the situation closely, another bidder, is not outside the realms of possibility, he said. While Beach Energy, the 50-50 joint venture partner with ORE in the Waitsu Gas Project, has remained quiet, some in the market believes it may soon make its own bid to wrest control of Waitsia. I wouldn't be surprised if, Beach, got into the action, the bidding isn't done yet, Mr. Barbacher said. A source familiar with Beach Energy told Fairfax Media the possibility of its carrying out another major acquisition, just months after its $1.585 billion acquisition of Lattice Energy, is an unlikely prospect. Beach has just acquired Lattice and is going through the integration of it, so its focus would be on this at the moment, the source said. Regal Funds Management believes at their current price, neither mineral resources nor Sikwas bid is likely to pass the board as both have undervalued the company. Their pencils need to be sharpened, Mr. Barbacher said. We think something closer to $1 is more acceptable to shareholders, Mr. Barbacher said. This price point is closer RBC Capital Markets Analyst Ben Wilson's forecasts. Mr. Wilson sees a risk valuation of ore at 91 cent a share, or $550 million, and an unrisked valuation of as high as $1.13, creating an acquisition value of $683 million. Ore is currently trading at around a 10% premium to the implied mineral resources bid which suggests to us that the market is positioning for either a higher bid from SUPG, an upwardly revised bid from mineral resources or a possible third bidder, Mr. Wilson said. Despite likely capital gains tax rollover relief for eligible investors, we think a cash bid at a similar price to an implied script bid should be preferred by shareholders and the ore board. A source close to ore said an offer above 80 cent would make a potential bidder much better place to gain ore's board endorsement. Mr. Barbacher said shareholders currently have no preferred bid, but did state Sukwa's cash offer, compared to mineral resources script proposal, provides more certainty.